One of the worst things about light pollution is its ecological impact, especially on nocturnal animals. And this has been studied thoroughly, but the most famous studies come from those of sea turtles. On all the tropical beaches of the world, you can pretty much count on mom sea turtles of a variety of different species wanting to lay their eggs above high tide. They haul up onto the beach, crawl up into the sandy uh, headlands off the beaches, and then they dig holes in the ground, lay a bunch of eggs, and then crawl back into the ocean, swim away. Now, over the course of a few weeks, those eggs, they hatch, and out of the eggs come little baby sea turtles, and they crawl their way up to the surface of the sand, and once they reach the surface, it's usually nighttime, and they then start moving to the ocean because they are cued in to starlight shining off the water. That brightness in all the natural darkness tells them, come this way, and of course, once they're in the ocean, well, they've got a better chance of surviving their predators because they have better maneuverability, better places for little guys to hide, and hopefully enough of them will survive, the species will perpetuate itself. But here's the problem. We human beings like to live on these same sandy beaches, and on those beaches, we build nightclubs and condominiums, and our artificial light causes the turtles to go in the wrong direction. They crawl up into our city streets and on the sidewalks where they can get run over by cars, maybe eaten by dogs, cats, a variety of problems. And that's a real bad problem, a bad situation for the turtles, and, you know, just kind of a yucky situation for human beings. What's the solution? Well, the solution is not to turn the lights off, but just turn the lights down, to turn them down enough that it doesn't over-brighten the beaches, that it's not brighter than the starlight reflecting off the ocean, and the turtles will still go in the right direction. They'll end up in the water, and once they're in the water, generally speaking, they'll be fine and on their way to hopefully a, a healthy life. Now, some places, people have just not considered this an important enough problem, and it's been ignored. Other places where they've done a good job, the turtles are doing well. But there's a new form of ecotourism that uh, has become pretty popular, and that's going to beaches where towns and communities haven't come up with any rules and regulations to protect those baby turtles, to turn down those lights on the few nights a year when there's hatches going on. So big-hearted volunteers run down to the beaches, and they grab the little turtles before they can crawl up to the nightclubs, those condominiums, and they put them in the ocean, and hopefully they stay. If they try to crawl back because the light's pulling them the wrong way, well, they just turn them around again. It's a classic example of where we're having to use human intervention to solve the problem of human intervention, which, of course, would be just easier if we turned down those lights in the first place. <laughs>